Hello everybody, this is Linkstar Studios here, and today I will be showing you guys a book series I have been reading over the years. It is called Wings of Fire, and it is, and the series is by 2ET Sutherland. So yeah, there are 12 books, well, I have 12 books, uh, of the series, if that even makes sense how I said that, but let's begin with the first book, which is... The Dragon at Prophecy, which is, uh, usually the dragons you'll see on the cover is what the book, is who the book is usually going to be about. So this dragon is Clay. He is, uh, uh he is going to be the protagonist of this story. Here is the back, if you want to pause the video and read it. Um... And usually also on the back, you're going to see other books, which are the ones that I have. Here's the second book, The Lost Air. This one is about this dragon, Tsunami. That's her name. And here's the back of her book. Yep. Then we have the third book. Which is the Hidden Kingdom, which is about Glory, who uh, it's pretty cool in my opinion, pretty cool dragon. Here's a little summary on the back. If you want to read that, then we have the fourth book, which I think is probably the one where you really start getting attached to the characters, which is the Dark Secret. Which is about this dragon named Dark, not Dark Stalker. I'm thinking of another one. This is Starflight. Yeah, it's the fourth book. And here's the back. I think you should be able to read this because it's white letters on a really dark uh, background. So you should be able to pause and read that. <clears throat> then we have the fifth book, which is the Brightest Night, which is about Sunny. And actually, fun fact, these first five books actually take place uh, in order, actually. Like, these books, I think, all actually take place in order. So you can just read one after the other. Um, here's her info card. Or not info card, but the back. And I would actually say this, um, you could say, like, the first five books are, like, the first season to, like, an anime or something, or the first season to a show, then, uh, six through ten are the second season. Basically, like, I think, I don't know how, to, I think you guys kind of see where I'm going, probably, with the whole series, seasons, more so. You know, I'll just stop here and just keep going. Uh, this is currently the book that I'm on, which is called Moon Rising, which is about a dragon named Moon Watcher, but for short, she's called Moon. Uh, here's the back. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, if you have the hardcover version, you're actually going to see a dragon down here, but I can't see it because of the little USB scanner or whatever that's called. But yeah, there's a dragon right there. Then this is the seventh book, Winter Turning, and my gosh, look how big this dragon's wings are. This dragon I heard is called Winter, so uh that's nice to know. Uh a little nice ice kingdom back there. Yeah. Here's the back of his I'm trying to allow you guys to like see it without the glare. Okay, this is probably the best shot I'm going to get. Uh, then we have Escaping Peril, which is the eighth book. This is Peril. And something I never really liked about this cover is how weirdly positioned her neck is. Like, that kind of looks really uncomfortable, if I'm being honest. But I don't know how she does it. Here is the back of her book. <clears throat> and actually, fun fact, if you also get the hardcover for this book, 
there's going to be a dragon chasing her, like, right where these words are. And that dragon is actually another key important one. She's Queen Scarlet. Yeah. Then we got the ninth book, <clears throat> which is called Talons of Power. This dragon, I think, is Turtle? Yeah, I think that's Turtle. And I also think that that's the dragon who is, like, on the back cover of Moon Watching. <clears throat> Oh, no, no, not, not Moon Watching, Moon Rising. Yeah, Moon Rising. So this is Talons of Power. Here is the back. And actually, uh, there's a book I don't have, and that's called Wings of Fire Legends Darkstalker. And, uh, uh... This dude, in the story I heard, he's, like, no joke. Like, he's n really not one to mess with, I guess. Like, I think he's another really important dragon. <clears throat> and then for the tenth book, which is the biggest book by far in width, uh, Darkness of Dragons. And I think this dragon is Keebly. Of, uh, that's how you pronounce his name. So, yeah, this is the tenth book. Here is the back. Uh, yeah, that should be good enough for you guys to pause and read. Now, we are starting to get into the books that I know absolutely nothing about. I don't know if these take place after these ten books, like the first ten books. I don't know if these could be like a little, like, second. What is it called, like, when you have, like... You know what, I'll probably find it out later, but these may take place in, like, a different timeline. I think that's what I was trying to say, but yeah. So this is book 11, called The Lost Continent, and I think that this probably takes place somewhere else, because, if I'm being honest, these dragons look very exotic, and also, if you look at their wings, they're a lot different than the wings of the dragons on the other covers. So I think that either this, uh, you know what that sound, uh, but I think that probably if, um, that the book 11 and book 12 take place in a different timeline or probably just in a different part of the world that the dragons are not at, at least those dragons. <clears throat> yeah. So this is the back. And I actually haven't read the back of book 11 and book 12 yet, so you guys are kind of getting a hint into it. Yeah, like I said, I know nothing about these dragons. And as you probably saw early at the beginning, I have two of these books, because I got one on Christmas, and I think, like, in June or something, like, the next year, I got the second copy. And then this is my first hardcover Wings of Fire book, which is book 12, The Hive Queen. And, guessing that's her? Maybe? I don't know if that's even a... I don't, I don't know what the gender of this dragon is, but if I'm being honest, I think this is like a dragonfly type variant. I could be wrong, which I probably am, but it legit just looks like an actual dragonfly because of the wings and all. And since they're actually dragons. Here's the little back for this one. But I think since this is a hardcover, that's why it doesn't have the back like the other books. And I usually, and isn't that what it, the case is for most hardcovers? How there isn't really much on the back. But not gonna lie, this dragon looks like a librarian, and the background looks like a library, like a beehive for dragons. That's also a library. <clears throat> Yeah. So, this is Wings of Fire. At least the books that I have. I will probably will get the other books, like the Darkstalker book. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope you all actually do get a chance to read these books one day. Maybe check them out sometime once this whole quarantine is over. And, uh, yeah... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Lancer Studio signing out, and have a good rest of your day, folks. Okay, bye!